Well, hello, CMS. Long time no see, at least from this side of the monitor. Yes, believe it or not, Tomahawk Talk is back, and we're ready to roll. Hello, Braves, and welcome to the 2018 first edition of Tomahawk Talk for the second semester. I'm your anchor, Mr. Strife. Well, this week, you have me, and hopefully next week, you'll have the students in my two audiovisual fundamental classes. Yes, two classes, two shows, hopefully offering you something different. Or is it two classes, one show? Well, we'll just have to see how it goes. So let's kick off this edition with looking at things going on around the building. If you haven't looked outside yet, you'll see these fences around the back side of the building. And of course, these are used by the construction company as they get ready to start on the construction projects for our building due to the bond issue passed two years ago. Now, you may have been noticing some inside work, too, that's being done in the sixth grade hallway. Well, a new outside entrance is being constructed. This will be used as the future drop-off spot for parents in the morning, and we expect it to maybe open in May, but we don't know if we're going to use it this year or not. We'll have to wait and see. More news to come on that. Here are some other plans that are upcoming projects in and around our building. Those are some exciting things taking place, that's for sure, here at CMS. And speaking of exciting, well, we have some new music to share with you. That's right, we've teamed up once again with GoMoxie.org to bring you music to the classroom. Now this week is Loud. Yep, that's his name, Loud. He's an American songwriter and singer who just recently released his new single, I Like Me Better. It's his first since 2015, and it's already had 130 million Spotify streams. So let's take a look at it. To be young and in love in New York City To not know who I am but still know that I'm good long as you're here with me To be drunk and in love in New York City Midnight into morning coffee Burning through the hours talking Damn. I like me better when I'm with you Loud, who's only 23, says he has a lot to figure out as he compiles his songs on his Spotify website. As he puts it, the songs have been out of order. I didn't realize it then, and the truth is I'm still figuring it out, but there's a thread, and all I know is I want to share it with you guys the same way I've been piecing it together myself. So I put all these songs in order as a playlist. The puzzle is incomplete, and I'm going to be releasing a lot of new music that fills in the gaps until this chapter of my life is fully told. So thanks again to GoMoxie.org for bringing us loud music into the classroom. And make sure to check out more of his music as it becomes available. All right, let's take a quick break. And when we return, I'll bring you up to date on your Easter forecast this weekend. Jessica, we need to leave right now. I need to get something. Dance recitals are so boring. There's a me, no one knows. So, what's the empty suitcase for? The grand prize trophy. Duh. Confidence. Pass it on. I was born to be somebody. Weather is always a tricky thing to predict, so we just use what the National Weather Service has to offer. Now, remember, there is no school tomorrow, so we start with today's weather. If you have to look outside, you might see a little sun poking through. Highs today will hit 55 but drop to 34, and there is a 20% chance of rain overnight. Now, Friday should be mostly sunny for Good Friday, a high of 57 and a low of 37. Now, Saturday has showers creeping back in right before lunch, but it's only about a 30% chance. So if you want to get out, enjoy the day. We should see a high of 54 and a low around 32. Now, Easter Sunday offers a wide variety of moisture. There's a 50% of rain, 50% chance of rain, that is, and snow showers during the day. It will be cold with a high of 46 and a low of 30. But we're going to rebound on Monday when you return to school as you should see some sun and a high near 50. Well, let's take another quick break, and when I return, we'll check in with sports. Time and time again, you know, when I'm doing street magic, I'll walk up to someone, and, and I can just see that they're against me, right? They don't want to be amazed. They don't want this experience to happen. 
But then the magic happens, and, and all of that falls away. <laughs> it's the experience of, of waking up and seeing things the way you saw them before they became ordinary. I need to never get old. I'm looking for that experience of wonder. Well, this week hasn't been too helpful for our track team, battling the weather, that is. But nonetheless, they have been hard at it as they get ready for the first track meet next Tuesday at Baser. We caught up with Coach Shreve to get his take on this year's squad. All right, as you look at the season, uh, what are your numbers so far for both boys and girls? Oh, we're hovering around about 100. Um, there might be a few more girls than guys. We have a really good crop of... Uh, seventh grade boys as well as seventh grade girls and our numbers are pretty good it's about about the same what we had last year first uh track me coming up next tuesday i believe at baser it uh, is. any kids stand out to you that they might be looking to get some high placing yeah we're looking i mean our uh we we set a few records last year our uh Four by two team is coming back. They're the record uh, holders from seventh grade, and uh, that's uh, JD. I want to say JD Skyler, um, Adrian, and Lawson Nolan. Um, so we're looking big things, and they get a lot of pressure on them. Uh, but we have a lot of good athletes. Uh, um, our distance people, like Coach Lewis, um, coaches has some real good runners. Uh, Kyle Newberry, uh, the Billings girls. Um, are really good runners, but uh, and we have some good sprinters. Skylar Duzan and Adrian Mater, uh, both Adrian um, and Skylar placed high at our league track meet. So looking for big things there. Adrian is just coming off an injury that he received, but he's he's looking good initially. Now we also hope to bring you some news of our Braves baseball team as their season should be getting underway soon as well. All right, Braves, short and sweet. That's Tomahawk Talk for this week. I'm Mr. Streit, and here's hoping that you're going to enjoy your Easter weekend. See ya.